Hello everyone, welcome to Solely Science. This video aims at explaining SILAR method and cover its probable viva questions and answers. First we will see the experimental part and then touch the viva questions and answers. Let's get started. What is the aim of experiment? It is to synthesize thin films using SILAR's method. What are the requirements? So here are few chemicals which will be needed for this experiment. State the reaction involved. So as you can see this is the final step reaction and here we are depositing WO3. What is the procedure that needs to be followed? The procedure of this experiment is very simple. You will need 4 beakers and 1 glass light. The chemicals in the beaker will be in this manner. The first beaker will have H2WO4 solution. The second one will have double distilled water. The third beaker will have NaOH solution and the last beaker will again have the double distilled water. So the steps are, first of all you need to take a clean glass slide and hold it into the beaker containing the H2WO4 solution for 40 seconds. Then you will remove the glass slide and hold it into the second beaker containing the double distilled water for 10 seconds. After the 10 seconds, you will need to remove the slide and hold it into the beaker containing NaOH solution for 20 seconds. A chemical reaction between OH- and WOH6 plus ion occurs and a layer of WO3 is deposited. After that, you need to again hold it into the beaker which is the last beaker containing double distilled water. Here you will keep the slide for 10 seconds. This completes one cycle. In this manner you need to do 40 cycles. Once 40 cycles are completed you will keep the slide aside for some time so that it dries. Now you will keep it into the furnace for any length at a temperature of 673 Kelvin for about 3 hours. Let it cool down and remove the slide once done. Now you can do the necessary characterization like XRD and SEM. This completes the procedure. Now we will see the questions and answers. First question is what is annealing? It is the process of heat treatment that causes significant changes in the properties of any sample and is done by keeping the sample in the furnace at high temperature and then cooling it down. Next, what happens because of annealing? The water molecules which are present will get evaporated and proper crystal formation will occur. On which factors does the morphology of thin film depends on? Number of deposition cycles, the concentration of chemicals used and temperature. Why are we using double distilled water? So double distilled water is used to remove the extra ions which are loosely bounded by the substrate. What is meant by binary, ternary and quaternary thin films? So when two substances or species are to be deposited then we call it as binary thin film. And if three substances are to be deposited then it is ternary thin films and for four substances it is quaternary thin films. But here in this experiment we are only depositing WO3 and nothing else. State the difference between adsorption and absorption. In adsorption, the molecules only stick on the surface and in case of absorption, the molecules are completely taken in that is it is absorbed completely by the surface. State the difference between distilled water, double distilled water and deionized water. So distilled water is the water which we get after doing the distillation process that is water is boiled at a high temperature its vapors are collected and these vapors are condensed back into the liquid form. This is called as distilled water. In case of the double distilled water the same cycle is repeated twice to enhance purity and thus double distillation process is done here. Double distilled water is more pure as compared to the distilled water. The last one is deionized water that is ions will be absent here. You will not get H plus and OH minus ions. Next question that can come into your mind is can we drink double distilled water? Answer is yes you can drink distilled water and double distilled water but we are not advised to drink deionized water. 
What are the advantages of CLR method? It is simple, less expensive and large area thin film deposition can be done using CLR method. What are the disadvantages of this method? So it is inhomogeneity and lack of reproducibility. So that was some of the key informations about CLR method of thin film preparation. I hope the content was helpful. Do share your feedbacks in the comment section. And lastly, spare a moment to hit that subscribe button. See you soon in the next video. Till then, goodbye and thank you so much for watching till the end.